Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am wearing a coat inside because it's a bit chilly so excuse me for that. This is a second hand purchase actually, I got this from a charity shop a few weeks ago for £6 I believe and it's so cosy. It's like a duvet coat which is what everyone needs in their life. Today I'm going to be doing a video on brow gels and when I say that I've tried my fair share of vegan brow gels I've tried my fair share of vegan brow gels. <laughs> like I've tried pretty much every single one you can get in the UK. I think the only one that maybe has been recommended to me that I haven't tried is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Because I know they have a kind of building brow gel which is more of a, a smaller brush and it's got a fibery kind of consistency in the formula. That one isn't vegan, I'm pretty sure that's got beeswax in. All of these are vegan apart from the one that started it all off which I was trying to replicate which is the Glossier Boy Brow. And this I'll just get out of the way because this one does have beeswax in the rest of them don't when I kind of was looking up the prices of each of these and I was thinking like how much have I spent trying to find a decent brow gel it was it was getting into the hundreds or hundred at least at least over hundred pounds I've spent on brow gel which is a bit depressing but you know what it is what it is you'll be happy to hear that this story has a happy ending I finally found the one and when I've been trying all these different brow gels I've said it before I feel like Mark from Peep Show thinking like I try one and then I think this is the one this is it, like she is the one. And then a few weeks go by and I realise she's not the one. Maybe she's not the one. And then they just disappoint me. And hence why I've been spending all my earnings on brow gels. But like I say, the one that I really, really wanted to find a vegan dupe for was the Glossier Boy Brow in the shade Brown. Because the brush on this is tiny, it's minuscule, slightly thicker formula, so it kind of sets the brows, makes them look a little bit more full. I also loved that this had a bit of a tint to it as opposed to a clear brow gel. So I was trying to find a replacement for that and I'm just going to cut to the chase and let you know that my absolute favourite that I've tried to date is ironically not a fibre building tinted brow gel, it's actually a clear brow gel and also ironically it's the cheapest out of all of these options. This is £2.50, you can get it in Sainsbury's, it's their own brand boutique eyebrow defining gel. This is amazing, I love it. You can only get it in Sainsbury's superstores, when you go to the makeup aisle you know they usually have like a little L'Oreal stand, a little Maybelline stand, if you're in a big enough Sainsbury's they'll have a boutique stand and these are £2.50 and they are just brilliant. Apologies if you live overseas, you probably won't be able to get your hands on this because obviously Sainsbury's is a UK supermarket but oh my goodness, if you are in the UK, I highly recommend it. Could not be more different, it's not tinted, it's the biggest brush, like it's so long compared to the teeny tiny brush on the Glossier Boy Brow. The formula is clear, it's not brow building at all, but it's brilliant. It locks the hairs in place so well, but they never get crunchy. Like my brow hairs are already quite dark, so I don't really need the tintedness. I just can't recommend this enough. I will say when you first get it, you might need to kind of brush the brush off a little bit because it is, you do get quite a lot of product in there. My one that I've just gone through, because I've already gone through one of these, lasted me maybe four three or four months, maybe like June, July, August, September, yeah, four months I would say. It's so affordable, even if you don't end up loving it, at least you've only spent £2.50 as opposed to like spending £16 or £20 or whatever. So yeah, that is my number one pick. And then the rest of these, I'm just going to go through really quickly and let you know my thoughts on them. So I would say my second favourite is the Milk Kush Fibre Brow Gel. If you want a vegan dupe for the Glossier Boy Brow, I'd say this is the closest you can get. I've got mine in the shade Dutch and it is really, really good. I like it a lot and I still use it, but it doesn't hold my brows in place quite as well as the boutique one, but it holds them in place just as well as the Glossier Boy Brow. So that is a really good option if you do want a vegan version of the Glossier Boy Brow. Also Milk Makeup are Logical Harmony certified, whereas Glossier isn't. So if you want something that's definitely cruelty free, I recommend the Milk Makeup Kush Fibre Brow Gel. My friend Soph also loves this as well and she's been a big fan of the Glossier Boy Brow. Pixie do this Brow Tamer, which is just a clear brow gel. This is incredibly average. I've got the shade translucent, it's okay, it's a clear brow gel, it doesn't lock the hairs in place that well and it's pretty expensive for what it is so wouldn't necessarily recommend that one, definitely recommend the boutique one over that. Another clear brow gel, actually I hated this, this was the Stunning Brows by Pacifica, this is an eyebrow gloss and set, this was so gloopy and just not very good and I really didn't like the brush shape, it's kind of like an oval, like an old school mascara 
wand you know like back in the day every brand had a mascara with this kind of wand on it and it just doesn't do much for my brows would not recommend i definitely recommend avoiding that in fact the hourglass brow volumizing fiber gel in the shade soft brunette this is okay but i don't think it's great it doesn't hold the brow hairs in place that well in my opinion i think that it's nice but it's not the best especially for the price i think this is about 25 pounds i think this might be the most expensive one out of all of these it's lovely and weighted and feels good but i don't care i would rather spend two pounds and have a tacky looking little brow gel because who really cares if your brow gel looks fancy it doesn't doesn't really matter at the end of the day it tints them nicely and the product is kind of dispersed quite nicely the brush is longer on one side and shorter on the other side so you can you know use the longer end if you want to or the shorter end depending on what kind of effect and style you want to give to the brow but i don't think this is worth the money and then going to the complete other end price end these are by gosh so gosh do two different brow gels the defining brow gel is more of a clear kind of like thinner basically with brow gels you either have in general a thin consistency which hopefully locks the brow hairs in place because it kind of sets and it's very liquidy and very thin or you have a thicker more viscous I would say a more viscous formula sometimes the thicker formulas will have fibers in which make your brows look more full gives the effect of thicker brows so it depends if you've already got pretty thick brows you probably want just a thin sort of clear mascara or a thin tinted mascara uh, because you don't need that thickness if you've got really thin brows you might want to opt for a fiber brow gel for me the issue is with fiber brow gels or any tinted brow gel really if they're too tinted they look rubbish they look kind of goopy and clumpy and they, they can look really rubbish really quickly and I find with the gosh defining brow gel which is their thinner option don't like the shape of the brush the brush is too big in my opinion like it's too thick the boutique one is a really long brush but it's very very thin whereas this is a very very thick brush just don't think it's very good the formula is nothing to write home about don't recommend and then their fiber gel this is the shade chestnut and i feel like a lot of people like this i don't think it's amazing but mainly because the shade is too dark for me and i think that if you wanted to get one at the drugstore i'd probably recommend if you can't get to a sainsbury's this is okay but you just you have to be careful with how much you apply because it can just look maybe it's because it's too dark for my eyebrows chestnut is a very very deep dark shade of this it just looks a bit intense it makes my brows look very fake very drawn on i don't think it disperses the product very well i think the formula is just too intense i wouldn't necessarily say go out and get it straight away another really cheap option is the essence make me brow people love these and i have gone through phases of really liking them benefit have a product called gimme brow which people love and these in shape of the actual the packaging and the wand are complete copies of that so if you like that product this might be a good vegan option for you i think they are really good especially for the price but i don't think they lock the brow hairs in place as much as the boutique product does which i keep saying but this is just the best but they're good they're not like awful especially considering they're only about two pound fifty if you're not that bothered and you just want something to put on your brows these are nice and i've got the blonde shade which i can get away with actually i can use it it's called blondie brows and then the other shade i've got here is called brownie brownie brows <laughs> bit of a tongue twister we're nearing the end of the pile of brow products um this was the nude sticks brow gel so i got this because kathleen lights raves about it basically this double-ended product so you twist off the end and you've got a brow gel and then here you've got a brow pencil the brow pencil i don't like this i don't really like slanted chunky brow pencils i don't know how these work for people i think this one's a bit moldy actually i haven't used it yeah it's gone all white I wouldn't be using that <laughs> which i think is such a waste like they don't sell the brow gel on its own so if you want this product and you don't like the the chunky end you're just going to end up wasting that product that's honestly such a stupid stupid idea they should sell this brow gel separately and this brow gel was good but i think the boutique one was better i like the little wand i think it's a really nice wand and i see why she likes it but i just wish i could send her the um, boutique one i know she lives in america so she probably can't get her hands on it and also she's probably got a million brow gels but i think she would really like it the nude sticks one is good the boutique one is great this i don't think is worth the money it's about 20 pounds 22 pounds maybe don't think it's worth the money at all and then the 100 percent pure green tea fiber brow this is one that i have said was very promising when i first tried it again in terms of the actual bristly brush bristly brush it's a kind of copycat of glossier boy brow the formula is too thin though it's too dark and it's too thin for my liking obviously you could get the lighter shade but this is medium brown and it's pretty dark it's pretty intense it doesn't hold the brow hairs in place it's not waxy enough and then last but not least this one is a brow gel but it's a little bit different this is the soap brows a lot of people recommended this to me and fair dues i understand like people are going to recommend what people are going to recommend but i just don't get it 
this is basically a bar of soap in a little tin which you could get I mean you could any people were saying like oh just use any soap and get a spoolie and use it maybe if you're blonde it probably looks great I'd say medium brown to blonde you'd be fine you have to work the spoolie in the idea is that you rub it onto the, the soap and then you brush it onto the brows but as you work your spoolie in to get the product off it kind of goes like white kind of like soap shavings kind of go a little bit lighter a bit white and the whiteness and that kind of white cast goes onto your eyebrows it just doesn't look good i'm not gonna be putting soap on my brows anytime soon and 12 pounds for a bar of soap is incredibly overpriced i think if you do want to go for soap brows don't bother getting this it is vegan and cruelty free but you could just get some soap from wherever you do your weekly shop don't waste your money don't waste your money that is the motto of this video don't waste your money go to sainsbury's and get the boutique brow gel if you can if not milk kush fiber brow gel is my favorite option like an international option but yeah i really hope that was useful i hope i warned you away from some purchases that would be a waste of money obviously if you like any of these brow gels that's amazing i'm very very happy that you found something that you love for me these didn't hit the mark apart from those two these didn't really hit the mark and weren't really worth the money and i just think charging 25 pounds for a brow gel that probably costs pennies to make is almost criminal kind of uh, moving away from overpriced stuff i know that sounds really stupid but when it comes to makeup i do think you can get such good stuff at a low price now that it's just it's almost a bit icky the amount some brands charge and i get like more premium brands are going to charge more for their products because that's that's their price point that's their business you know that's their brand but i just yeah i i feel like i've wasted a lot of money and a lot of makeup and i i think i'm kind of over it i don't want to waste my money anymore but i probably will <laughs> um thank you so much for watching anyway i really hope this was useful it's been a long time coming if you want to see some more from me like comment subscribe so on and so forth and if you do then i'll see you in my next one bye